Hello everyone! In today's video, I'll show you how to use push buttons to control UI objects in LVGL. I'm using two push buttons, either 12 by 12 millimeters or 5 by 5 millimeters, both work fine. Along with them, I have two resistors, 1 kilo ohm or 10 kilo ohm for pull up or pull down. You can also use a TP223 touch button if you prefer. For this demo, I'm using a PCB board with two built-in push buttons. When I press the first button, a highlight moves between UI objects. Pressing the second button selects and executes the highlighted object. For example, pressing next moves to the next screen while pressing back returns to the previous screen. Now, I'll show you how I use these buttons to toggle an LED and switch screens again before we move on to the next part of the video. In this section, I'll show you how to wire the resistor for the push button. In this video, I'm using a pull-down resistor. One leg of the button is connected to 3.3 volt, while the other leg is connected to one end of a 1 kilo ohm resistor with the other end pulled down to GND. The junction between the button and the resistor is then connected to an ESP32 GPIO pin set as input. The debounce functions and button state checks are already packaged in the button.h library. This library helps us handle button signals smoothly and makes it easier to integrate with LVGL. Next, I'll show you how to include and use this library in source code. Here is the wiring diagram. First, for the TFT LCD, I have connected GPIO 5 to CS, GPIO 18 to clock, GPIO 19 to MOSI, GPIO 21 to DC, and GPIO 22 to reset. Next, the buttons are connected to GPIO 36 and GPIO 35 respectively. Back to SquareLine, I created a simple UI with two screens and some buttons. The first screen has a button to control the LED and another button to navigate to the next screen. Similarly, the second screen has a back button to return to the first screen. Previously, I made a detailed video tutorial on designing and configuring events in LVGL. If needed, you can check my channel, go to the ESP32 and LVGL playlist, and watch the tutorial video. Now, back in SquareLine, I go to Project Settings, select LVGL version 9.1, set the export path for the UI files, and click Apply Changes. Then, I export the UI and move on to editing the code. Back to the coding part in this video, I'll first give a quick overview of the button.h library. You can customize and add multiple buttons here as needed. I declare the buttons as input mode. Next is the debounce function which helps eliminate noise when pressing the button. In this function, I'm using a pull-down resistor, so when the button is pressed, the returned value is high. When the button is released, the current value will be low. If you use a pull-up resistor, it's the opposite. When you release the button, the returned value will be high. Back to main.cpp first, you need to declare the GPIO pins for the buttons. In this video, I'm using pins 35 and 36. Create a button indev variable to handle button inputs. Declare two groups to organize the controlled objects. Declare two screens for the UI. This is the function to read button states and assign input keys for LVGL control. One button is assigned to LV key next to navigate between objects. The other is assigned to LV key enter to select and execute actions. There is a buzzer function that plays a sound when pressing a button. If you don't need it, you can remove it. Next is the group initialization function, which groups objects together and assigns button indev to control them. This works similarly to how I used rotary encoders in previous videos. Here is the screen change function. You can pass the predefined screen value to switch between screens. Finally, I set up the enter button action, for example. Pressing the button to turn the LED on or off. Pressing the button to switch screens. As I mentioned before, to change the screen, simply pass the correct screen value to the change screen function. In void setup, call button begin and group in it. Define LED pin 26 and buzzer pin 25 as output mode. In void loop, call GUI action to handle UI operations. That's it for the code modifications. After completing the code modifications, I proceeded to build and upload the firmware to ESP32. That's the content for today's video. In this tutorial, you've learned how to use buttons as inputs to control UI objects in LVGL. Thanks for watching.
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming content. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. See you in the next video.